welcome back to my channel this is laura today we're gonna make a fourth of july wreath i got this little wreath form at the dollar tree and i did get the mesh also at the dollar tree i did haul these before in one of my older hauls i like to buy this because i mean it's only a dollar and you get five yards and this one I had from a previous project. I'm also going to use some of these pipe cleaners. I have some scissors and a rotor cutter. And I have a glue gun. And then I have an assortment of flowers that I'm going to use. I don't know if we're going to use all of these. I just pull out what I have in my stash and use what we have. And I'm also going to use these two ribbons. I didn't have any solid blue. But we'll see. I mean, it just may... We just may come up with something else. By the time I end up finishing, I change my design a million times. So don't worry if you can't find anything. You can always make it work. Okay, we are going to start by cutting our mesh. Okay, we're going to cut them 10 inches long. And I like to use the rotor cutter. Just be careful with your fingers, guys. Don't get in a hurry. And what I do is I cut all of them first. I cut all my little mesh first. And then I move on to the next step. So I'm going to continue to cut these. Okay, I've done cut all the little red mesh that I have. Now I am going to use my pipe cleaners. I don't like the ones from the Dollar Tree because they shred. So I think I got these at Walmart or on Amazon. I don't remember. But we're going to cut these in half and then we're going to cut them in half again because you don't need that much of a big piece. So we're going to cut them. Don't use your good scissors, guys, and ruin them. Okay, so we got that. The next step that we're going to do with the mesh is we're going to lay it out. It's kind of hard because it tends to want to curl, but that's okay. And you get right in the middle, and then you just start to pleat it. Just like that with your fingers. Okay, then you just pinch in the middle. And you get one of your little pipe cleaners and you twist it around. Okay, and this is just enough to go around the wreath, whatever's left over. Okay, so we're going to do this to all of the mesh and then we will continue. is we're going to separate our flowers now that we finish with our mesh. Don't cut them too short. We'll cut them more if we need to a little bit later. And since I don't know what I'm going to use, I'm just going to cut these. I don't know if we're going to use all of them. Okay, now we're going to bring in our wreath and I have all the mesh. I'm just going to bring a few up here at a time. And this is the part that's a little time consuming, but this is what makes it look pretty. You can do it all in one color and go around like this, or you can alternate it. This stuff sticks like this and put it like that. So whatever, whatever you feel like you like best, you can put two of these together like that and then just keep going around and I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put two at a time we're gonna leave this bottom part here we're gonna leave this out for the flowers so we're gonna start right up here and what I do is I take my my mesh and I fold it up like that and then you just go around stick the, the pipe cleaner at the bottom and then just twist just like that Okay, so it's going to look a little messy at first. So I stick it in here like this. The first and the second one. And twist. Just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. 
and then we just keep pushing them over. If you get some strands like this, I just cut them off. We'll cut them off at the end to make it look nicer, okay? So I'm just gonna turn it over and keep going. So we're gonna do red, white, two white, and two blue. Remember, just the first and the second row here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. See, and then we just start pushing it together like that. The two middle ones are the ones that we're working on right there, the two middle ones. So I'm just gonna keep going, guys. Next step. Now we're gonna. F I found a few things that I picked up, of course, from the Dollar Tree. I picked up this uh, welcome sign, which I really like. I have some of these little hats. They are plastic. Yeah, they are plastic, so they will stand outside. But I'm not sure if that's what I like. So we'll, we'll take a look. We'll put them on, and then we'll see. The truck I would like to put right about here. Okay, so we're going to glue this, but I'm going to deconstruct this. I'm going to take this top off. See, I want to cover the, the wreath right there. So I'm going to take this off. It's real easy to take apart. I do this all the time. I take things apart. I'm going to take this apart as well. And don't throw them away because you never know when you're going to need a little chain for a decoration or something. The day you throw it away is the day you need it. Okay, so I might put this right about there. I just set things out where I think I'm going to want them and then I'll fix the flowers. We still have to put the flowers. Okay, so I, I really think I like the truck right about here. So I am going to put some glue right here, the hot glue. And that pretty much holds everything pretty good. I'm going to put just a little bit here for now and then I'll go around the back and add some more. I'll turn it over. Just make sure you hold it in place and then secure it in the back. I put a lot because I don't want to lose this to the wind. It's gonna be outside. And then I just hold it until it dries. This is drying. So I'm gonna start adding in the flowers. And I don't need so much of a stem. I just realized it. I like to put the flowers on the contrasting color of the mesh. Of course, you do what you like for yours. I just put them in, I just kind of scatter them out before I glue them down. I'm just gonna continue to do this. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna start to glue them down and I will be right back. have all my flowers down. I'm just gonna push them back just a little bit so we can see the truck and make sure that all the flowers are secure. Like I said, if you see little strands somewhere, just take them off. Now we'll check to see if we want a little hat. I'm not sure about the little hats. I'm gonna take this off, of course. No, we're just gonna leave the little hats off. Now we just need to put our little welcome sign here. And I will secure that with a little bit of glue. I will take this apart, guys, after the holiday and save what I can. Okay, I am going to add the ribbon. I did decide to put this one. Sometimes you just don't know until after you're done. So I'm going to poof it out here a little bit. Just try to make it look full. And then I'm just going to add it here to the tail of the truck. Put a little bit of hot glue. And then you move around your mesh if you have to. And you can even add the second one if you really want to. You could put, put both of them here. I think that would look really cute. So I'm going to add it right here to the tail light because we can't really see that anyway because of the flowers. And we're just going to wait for that thing to dry. And we're done, guys. Look at that, how cute that is. I'm going to go hang it up so that y'all can see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, there is my little wreath for July the 4th. Uh, it's just real simple guys, not perfect, but I like it. 
and these are all Dollar Tree items and I think it turned out kind of cute leave a comment down below if you're gonna be making a July 4th wreath if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at virtual kitchen with Laura alrighty guys I'll talk to y'all later bye